We now know the identity of a woman killed in a double shooting in Durham Monday. The double shooting is two of hundreds that have taken place so far this year alone. CBS 17's Ben Bochum joins us live from the police headquarters where they are dealing with an alarming increase in these shootings. Ben, what are they telling you? Here at police headquarters, it is national night out. It's a chance for community members and law enforcement to work together and create a safer Durham. But earlier today, police identified the victim in yesterday's shooting as 30 year old Angela Rizzi. And we're now learning that she was a grad student at Duke University in dance. All of this occurred just less than a half mile from headquarters here yesterday. And this comes as Durham is seeing over 600 shootings so far this year. Fatal shootings like this one Monday are on the rise throughout the city of Durham. The latest 2023 police statistics show a dip from two years ago, but through late September, the number of deadly incidents increased slightly from 29 last year to 30 this year. Just last week, someone murdered 21-year-old Taycon Blake outside of a recreation center on Fayetteville Street. Monday, someone killed Angela Rizzi at this home on Worth Street. A second woman suffered gunshot wounds. Today we learned from a former classmate that Reezy was a dance graduate student at Duke. These latest incidents will add to the crime statistics. I think it's incredibly sad how desensitized I, I've personally become to things like this. The number of shooting incidents through late September has increased significantly this year. This time last year we saw less than 600 shootings, but so far this year there's been at least 666, according to police statistics statistics. When she presented the stats to members of the city council back in May, police chief Patrice Andrews said the increase in shootings reported is partially because of technology formerly known as ShotSpotter. Still, the number of people shot is down. We just wrapped up speaking with Police Chief P Patrice Andrews here at National Night Out, and she says the department is struggling with some vacancies. She says there are 130 vacancies in the Department of Sworn Officers. She also says she hopes events like this help the community and law enforcement work together to make this city a safer place. We're live here in Durham. Ben Boken, CBS 17 News. Yeah, staffing shortages continue to pose a problem for the department. And all over the state, right. really, when it comes to mm -hmm. law enforcement, a very important topic there. Ben Buckham, thank you for that.